trail comfort station. <laughs> well, it's a lot more than a trail comfort station. The towpath trail at Steelyard Commons is part of the approximately six mile long planned towpath trail extension connecting the northern terminus of the trail at Old Harvard Avenue with the proposed Canal Basin Park. The trail provides a deck route along the eastern edge of the center with views to the steel mill, highlighting the role of the lower Cuyahoga River Valley in steel making and railroad transportation, neighborhood settlements, and environmental movement as part of the shopping center's development. No public monies were used in the building of the over 1.75 miles of towpath trail at Steel Yard Commons. We're in the Ohio Valley. We're in Cleveland. And we're getting a view of what produced the steel that America consumed for so many years. Rail cars, factories, beams. And now it's a shopping center. We've got some views of the old rigging that was used to move the steel. The power substation that provided the electricity needed to run these huge steel mills. And some of the exhibits that were left behind and we're fortunate enough to have a glimpse into what made the Ohio Valley, Cleveland, Toledo, and so many other towns in this area. Made them so great, made America so powerful. Can't tell you what kind of machine it is, but it's a Cleveland Number two, number 17, Pollock. Not sure what it did or what it does or what it could have done. Maybe it was used to transport the raw material, the coke, the pig iron. It's massive and there must have been many of them. And somebody will tell us on YouTube what this huge monstrosity did what its job was and why it wasn't scrapped, cut up for scrap. Seems to be some remnants of something that spilled over onto the bogey assembly. Buckeye! Patented. It's a monster. Must stand 22 feet high. If you're not sure when the barrels align properly after it's filled, you have to empty it. There's your arrows right there. Line those up. Ready for the next fill. So now we've got a trail along the old rail, rail yards here and the steel mill and some big old buildings. Cuyahoga Valley. Here we go. This is a bottle car fabricated by the William B. Pollock Company, Youngstown, Ohio. The rotatable bottle or ladle car was used for movement of molten iron between a blast furnace and a steel making facility such as basic oxygen furnace or the like. Donated by Metal Steel, the interior of the bottle car was lined with brick as well as the area surrounding the opening of the bottle car to insulate the car from the hot, bubbling, molten steel. Donated by Con Kleinman Counselors at Law. It's a bottle car. Transportation of the molten steel. That's why it rotates. Fill it up and dump it. It's tremendous what used to be produced in the Cuyahoga Valley. Got light snow. Sure wish I was back in California. 800 miles more to go to New England, the Champlain Valley. The Steel Yard Heritage Center, clock house, built in the early 1900s, the clock house once used by steel workers to clock in and out as they worked at the steel mill, is now a historical landmark at Steel Yard Commons dating back to the era of Otis Steel, the first producer of steel on the site. The Steel Yard Heritage Center will be the home of an interpretive center. The use of the site of the steel mill, the steel making process, and its importance to Cleveland and Key Bank recognized for their help in preserving and moving this building. I believe this building was moved to this location.
Steelyard Heritage Center, small in stature in comparison to the tandem finishing buildings, mill buildings, but historic in character. An early 1900s red brick building has been relocated on the site to become the home to the new Steelyard Heritage Center. In its new location, adjacent to the Towpath Trail and the planned Scenic Valley Railroad stop, the Steelyard Heritage Center will be a focal point. glimpse into the process of steel making and the history of the area. Clock in, clock out the building. Steelyard Mill Playground. Safe playground equipment and matching in the motif of a blast furnace steel mill redesigned as an outdoor playground for children. Cuyahoga Valley Scenic Railroad. Still operates. Steel mill is still operation. Beautifully done. The motif is there. Some of the elements are preserved. Cuyahoga Valley. The great city of Cleveland. Other wonderful cities. Auburn. Indiana. Toledo. Akron, Ohio. Luckily, some of this will be preserved. Where our forefathers toiled. <laughs> Sounds kind of corny. We're in the Ohio Valley. Cuyahoga County, I think. Cleveland. And Steel Yard, Steel Yard Commons. Thanks for looking. See ya.